And now to commence our national anthem is Alfredo from the O2, Gravity O2. Welcome, Alfredo. Thank you. We have Mark oh, Goddad. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. Through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air That a flag was still there. Oh, say, does that a star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of the free and the That's Mark Goddett, Army Best Ranger champion, and 2021 Spartan Thank you so much, Ultra Alfredo. World that was Champion. A beautiful rendition of our national anthem, and now we're gonna get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready out there? Let me hear ya. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to commence with our call-outs here in West Palm Beach. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Ready? All right, ladies and gentlemen, spectators, volunteers, West Palm Beach, here we go. This is your call-outs to your 2022 West Palm Beach Deca Fit. Here we go, out of Colorado. Your Deca Fit World Record Holder from Yancey Camp. Let's welcome Mr. Ryan Kitt, everyone! That's right, Ryan Kitt, and coming out of Ogden, your 2022 Spartan Oil Champ just newly crowned. He's a free agent out of Ogden. Let's welcome Ryland Shadag! And in, coming in in your third here, call out your 2021 Spartan Noram champ from Black Forest Performance Training out of Colorado Springs, Miss Wilson DJ Jones! And now, from Denver, Colorado, representing Torque Athletes. He's a former DecaFit record holder. Let's welcome Rich Ryan! And now, coming from Nashville, your 2021 DecaFit champion at a D1 training, Cool Springs in Tennessee. Let's welcome Nick Riker! And now, from Elevate, your third fastest second fit all time from Hyattsville, let's welcome David Magino! <laughs> all 
Alright, and now, from Colorado Springs, another member of Yancey Camp. He's also your deck of fit, NorCal third place finisher from Colorado Springs. Let's welcome Jack Bowen! And also from Colorado Springs, from Elevate, your Colorado third place deck of fit. Let's welcome Mark Goddard! And also, let's welcome another Decafit champion from New Jersey. He's representing my zone and a suitcase of courage at a rally. Let's welcome Dylan Scott, ladies and gentlemen. And from Payson, Utah, let's welcome Dave Collins. And from California, from Fortitude Fitness and Endurance, let's welcome John Howard the Third. And last but definitely not least, from Florida, from live training, let's welcome from Palmetto, Mr. Eric Sunday. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our call out for the stacked field. Are you ready, West Palm Beach? Let me hear you. It is go time, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you work hard. This is why you train. This is why you sacrifice. Are we ready? Yes, you. Mark, Ashley, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the back of the arena. Second lap, they'll stop in the zone one, knock out those 30 alternating reverse lunges right over here. You walk past it. So as I was saying, we have Rollins Shadeg, your recent 2022 Spartan North American champion. This first wave of men is crazy stacked. Second wave of men, we have five or six guys that would normally be in the first wave, had to bump them down to wave two. Make sure you stay tuned. This first wave of females, just as stacked as the men. Okay. 
it's okay. Okay, we have, coming out of the first lap, we have Rich Ryan, Rylan Shadeg, Nick Riker, Ryan Kent, Mark Godet, David Magida, VJ Jones. That is our, yep, Eric Sunberg, Dylan Scott, John Howard. They're out on their second lap. Coming into zone two for 500 meter row. Here they come. Ryland Shadeg in first place by about 30 meters right here. Ryan Kent about 20 meters, so one or two seconds behind Shadeg. Yeah, one, two, three. Ryland Shadeg, Ryan Kent, Rich Ryan. I'm gonna call. Uh, Nick Riker in fourth right now. It's close though. Riker in fourth. Mark Gardet's going to get off in fifth. He hit, Mark had a great row. Great row. You got VJ getting off in sixth. I would say about 80 meters behind Dylan Scott. Tabor McGee hits tight, ladies and gentlemen.
Ryan. I, I would say be careful being there. You might want to be behind this. Shadeg, <laughs> Kent, and Ryan out one, two. Three. Careful! Look where you're going! Go Jack! Once the first like seven or eight are done, we'll head on down. There's Ryland, just went by. seconds on Kent. 12 seconds. Kent's got about three seconds on wrist. Ryan, Mark, and Nick came in fourth and fifth, basically tied. We have five people within about 20 to 21 seconds of each other, all in zone five. Very tight race. DJ and Dylan Scott is next. Seven people in zone five before anybody gets to 200 meters. He just hit first place, just hit 200 meters. So obviously, your, your taller, longer bodies like the Dylan Scott, uh, Ryan Shadeg, 
Actually, all these guys have nice, nice long levers for ski. We have nine in zone five at the same time. Nine. That does not happen very often, ladies and gentlemen. Stack first place. stay on them. So we have the second wave out on course, everybody. We Again, we have three or four people that are stuck. I mean, normally I would always have them in wave one. So you could see a couple people in wave uh, wave two sneak up in the top six and seven. I doubt it, though. Chicago's going to get out in first with about a 40 to 50 meter lead on Kent. About eight, eight seconds, we made up a little bit. Which time is out? Watch that, and they're both out. Wow, we're going to have maybe six people in Farmer's Carry at the same time. It's Ryan. It's Ryan. You're trying. That was what we're supposed to be. That was an extra. I had a ninth. That was hard. It, it was eight. It was eight. Somebody pulled my ninth one out yesterday. I had nine here yesterday. We should be okay. Eight, 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 seven, seven, two, Here's Ryland. comes Ryan. Rich Ryan had a, I would say, had a five or six second faster run than Ryan Shadeg. There maybe three to four seconds, but he definitely had a good run there. Ryan's, Ryan Kent's getting out with Ryan of 80 meter lead, 80 meter lead. Rich Ryan coming in. Mark Gaudet had a really good carry here. He, Mark Gaudet completely closed the gap on Rich Ryan. They're basically tied. Nick Riker had a good farmer's carry here. Mark, I don't like that. Hey, we need to get a couple more sets. Good day. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Good work, man. Okay. So there's Ryland on his first. David Magida going out. Hey, Yancey. Yancey, let's go. Yeah. Ryland's already through. We need to get over here. The 25 cows on the air bike coming in. We have the air bike set in comp mode. You're going to see them get on, start moving, and hit the start button. I'm going to count down to zero. Watch out, guys. Watch out. 
Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys. Make sure you hit start. Here comes Ryan. Here comes Ryan. at 600 plus watts. This is Ryan Kent's best zone. Guarantee you can't close it maybe five, six seconds here. Oh, Ryan! Oh, careful. We're 600 watts over here on Shadeg versus 850 watts here on Kent. Blew my theory. She just took off. Kent completely vaporized any lead that Shadeg had on him. We're going to see how much gas Kent spent in zone seven. They left, they left in the lead. So now you see Shadeg here comes coming Riley. in right here. Back to you. One, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. Shadeg had a four second faster run. So I would say that's a win for, for Kent.
Mark Gaudet, Nick Riker. This is VJ. Oh, you guys, heads up. This is Jack.
seconds apart. Seconds. And now we have BJ. Okay, so Nixon. Looks like, looks like Ryan and Sadeg got um, Ryan Camp by about 10 seconds. Um, BJ, BJ was next. BJ came in next. Okay, BJ, BJ was third into the zone. Yep. Okay, so we got VJ. Let's go, BJ. Let's go, try to catch him on this Just edges out Megita. Nick Riker, Mark Goddard. Did you finish right before me? Okay, Have some pretty dead people. Sick racing, Rich. John Mark. myself and I was like actually God show me what you can do through me and like I just felt amazing today even though I was on the motorcycle and not much sleep like I just feel good all the time so and yeah. what, what was your time uh 28 28 wow you guys are right here the freaking so all right Nick I got almost a minute PR yeah 3018 that's awesome great job well, Mark how was it for you it's all right how was it Mark I ran most of the race in third place, and then I just fell off the bike. Uh, I wasn't sure what yeah, yeah. I'll be uh, wrong. So I was, I was going to get awesome. the bike hard. What else we got? We have a baby here. Where's the baby? <laughs> Ryan's baby. Say hi. Say hi. Go back, go back. <laughs> Cuteness. Hey Ryan, how was that? Oh, it was good. I'm not even, I'm not mad. Um, I've never been pushed like that in a DECA, so it was really exciting to 
to kind of see what I am capable of and I ended up getting a personal best by a minute. Wow. Um, That's and amazing. it took a guy like Ryland coming in to really push me to that limit. You know, I, I tried to climb, I let the gap get a little more than I wanted to in the beginning because I was trying to play it a little conservative. And got, I got in a little bit of trouble and had to make up most of that gap on the assault bike. Um, and then I paid for it a little bit after that. And I knew I had the, the burpees, which I'd be able to gain a few seconds. But I just let the little little gap, gap get a little too big early on. Um, but it's good, good lesson learned going into the World Championships. So I'm, I'm happy, man. Ryland just won the Spartan Race North American Championships. He's obviously super fit. And uh, he showed that today, and you know I see a lot of similarities, you know, between Ryland and I. He's, him and I kind of have similar strengths, and um, it's just super cool to to see him dabbling in the functional fitness space and Spartan, and you know, hopefully a couple other guys will, will try it as well. Well, great job. Yeah, thank you. Really great job. How is that for you? Okay. You know, I'm super proud of it. Like, you know, coming back into training, I didn't really have, I haven't done any time trials or anything. Just, you know, try to be consistent again. And, uh, dude. So in this, we have Camilla Mass on the left there, Bridget Brown, Lauren Weeks, Tara Jackson, Vivian Tafuto, Lauren Laura Cummings, Shannon Payne, crazy stacked field, at least seven deep. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Zone one. Lady's going off hot. See how it shakes out on the first lap.
the camp. Yeah, okay, so we have uh, Bridget Brown here. Uh, top four or five fastest time all time. Laura Cummings, 2000, oh, Laura Cummings out sec. Oh, Lauren Weeks, 2021 Spartan Games champ and 2021 High Rocks world champ. Uh, you have Tara Jackson, Vivian Tefudo, former uh, Deca, Deca Fit champions. So Lauren Weeks, who we thought was going to be out first, she's our 2021 Spartan uh, Games champion and 2021 High Rocks world champ. Who was that? Laura, uh, Lauren Weeks. Lauren Weeks. Going to zone two. And uh, she got black We didn't get David while we're waiting for the women to come in. How was it? Uh, it was great. You know, I've been um, I've been really injured, not running. I had a stress fracture in my shin, so I've just been running three and a half weeks, and uh, I didn't know what to expect. But BJ and I were in a really good battle the whole day. He got me by two seconds, and no. I'm happy. I actually really thrilled. I podium would have been cool, but didn't you know? Couldn't ask for a better comeback race. Yeah, so. that was great. You did a great job. Yeah, everyone. It's fun it was to watch. Amazing feel. Wow. Yeah. What a, what a race. It's exciting. That's one of the more exciting races we've had. Let's go, Erica! Lauren's a She's Lauren's a cyborg. She is. It's unbelievable. She went, she went by in about 5.30 paces. Am I doing okay? Here we go. What's happening? We're fine right here. Maybe over here. Here she comes. Here she comes. Lauren Weeks, Lauren Weeks. We got Lauren Weeks coming Lauren in. Lauren Weeks. How, how, how long ago did she have her baby? Um, about, I believe, hey, one second. David! Derek Jackson. So, great story on Lauren Weeks. I give or take about eight. Two weeks ago, she had her first baby, Lily, her and Anthony, and as we said, 2021 Spartan Games champion, 2021 High Rocks world champion, Tara Jackson, two-time DecaFit champion, Laura Cummins, 2020 uh, USA Marathon uh, Olympic trial qualifier, Vivian Tefudo, uh, Chicago DecaFit champion, Shannon Payne, third place at NorCal or SoCal, I can't remember. And so, yeah, this man, ladies' field is just as stacked as the men. Lauren was a very high-level CrossFitter before she uh, came on the scene. 2017, TMX was her very first uh, shot at any, anything like this on the Spartan Tough Mudder side of the house. She sat down really well. Like I said, in 2020 Spartan Games, she got third. 21, she took first. And she's turned into be just a, a phenomenal hybrid uh, fitness athlete.
see it's Lauren, and it, uh -huh. Bridget, Tara, two-time champion, definitely champion. Laura Cum Vivian had a good pull. Laura Cummings had a good pull, much better than previous pulls. That's your top five. Six right here is probably going to be Shannon Payne. If she's not, Shannon Payne might call she ends up in the top five today. No, Massa. Ladies coming in. Here she comes. First place. She comes. Bridget Brown coming in second. Laura Cummings having a great race. Again, arguably, her and Shannon Payne probably the two best pure runners in the field. Again, Laura was a 2020 Olympic trial marathon qualifier. She's a, she's a 240 flat marathoner. So those 500 meter repeats are not, again, she's compromised, but it's not the end of the world for her. 
Vivian Fufuto, a former swimmer, a Virginia, Virginia Cavalier swimmer, and burst on the scene, uh, taking third at one of our races and then coming back and winning Chicago recently. Okay, she's out. First place is out. Here she comes. Molly can see her. Crushing it. She's already lapped half the field. We have a break in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meg picks up then. A break in later. Then, what the heck is this? Bridget had a so Bridget had a great run coming in second here. Watch out. So Bridget Brown, a former D1 soccer player for the Oklahoma State um, Cowboys. A lot of former D1 athletes. It's great seeing athletes from so many different disciplines coming in. Racing Spartan and Decca. So Lauren Weeks, Bridget Brown, Vivian Tafudo, Laura Cummings, Tara Jackson. Probably our most seasoned veteran right here with two, uh, three podiums, two champions. She, she won 2021 deck of it twice. Okay. okay. Lauren's got a 60 meter lead on second place Bridget Brown right here. 60 meter lead. All right. You'll see somebody like Camilla, tall, if you're familiar with the rowing and the ski ergs, the Concept 2 machines, the longer your levers, uh, you, you'll, you'll simply see these athletes finish zones like this quicker. Of course, they hate zones like the burpees and other zones where that height is, isn't an advantage. Good ball, Good ball. An 80-meter lead on Lawrence, just a strong cross the background, that would make sense. We're gonna have about a hundred and about a hundred and twenty meter lead. She's waiting for it to get to five hundred. About a hundred and thirty meter lead. So I would say at these paces, about 18, 19 seconds. Okay. 
Tara Jackson out third. Fourth. Tara Jackson. Fourth. 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 Third. Uh, uh, Tafudo. Vivian Tafudo in third. Laura Tara Cummings fourth. In Laura Cummings right fifth. Out. I'm guessing Camilla would get out of here. Holy crap! Look at that shadow pan! Do serious work! Camilla's pulling a two flat, a two flat gas, five zones in. Very, very impressive for 500 meters. And here it goes Lauren Weeks. Lauren Weeks already lapping. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, an exact split count here. Give you the exact split between her and Bridget. Okay, yeah, Bridget coming right here. Again, coming back. Epic D1 college soccer background. They always translate really well. Okay, here she comes. All right, we're looking at. I said 18, we're about 19 seconds. 19 second gap, but Vivian's running very well. Is also between first and second, yeah, 19 got, seconds. Bridget's got about five seconds on Vivian. Tara Jackson and Laura Cummings closing, both great. Tara was a college runner. Let's go ladies. Here she comes. Vivian made the pass. Vivian is 18 seconds behind Lauren and 19 there for Bridget. Actually a really good farmer's carry for, for, for Bridget. Different, different size than the ladies. Vivian in second now over Bridget. I'm gonna say Bridget's gonna be technically the better runner, but Vivian really improved her running. Yeah, it looks like she's just riding her heels, getting ready to make a pass on lap two. They finish this lap, they're gonna be coming into zone seven, 25 cows on the air bike. Go, Tara! Tara looks like she's picking up the pace here. She's, she's gained about a second or two on Laura. She's pretty impressive with her marathon background. Lauren. 
Rylan, tell me what you think. What you think? So, Lauren Weeks is absolutely slaying it. She looks stronger on the bike. She just had a kid. She's already flying. Everybody should be scared. Watch out, High Rocks. Watch out, Spartan. Watch out, Deca. Watch out, I don't know, Ultra Marathoners. Because Lauren Weeks is coming for you. So. And then we got Tara. I think she's in fourth. She looks probably one of the strongest on the bikes right now. Don't let the face fool you. Yeah, I think Bridget, Bridget and uh, I don't know the other girl in second and third. They're both looking pretty strong. I think Bridget's trying to play it safe. I think she's sitting third and she's going to punch to second. That's my prediction. But you heard it here first. <laughs> I think Tara might bring in third too. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. She She's closing a little bit. Lauren Weeks is absolutely crushing her. Which, I mean, she is Lauren Weeks. So yeah. I think that's her middle name or something. Let's go! Nice work! Come on, Tara! She beat Lauren's bike by two seconds. Yeah. Lauren got in 19 seconds, she got out 17 seconds. Who's winning the Pluto? Oh, let's go! No, she was straight oh, off the gas. Straight off the gas. Split coming in with 19 Dude, going out. Dude, you crushed that! She's right there! That's Let me tell you something. This man, coming off injury. Almost took third day. Very, very impressive. Coming into today's race, he was the third fastest Decafit all time. We had everybody PR today. You PR, did you? You were 29? I was 304. So beats your PR by about from here last year by you three seconds. Yeah. So it shows you how the competition will do. Yeah. Good stuff. A little competition, a little experience. Too. Hey, two, good job. Hey, you got two months to get a Oh, I know. This trust me. Trust me. Here, this is me not in shape, yeah, Anthony. Just wait. Huge PR by Mr. Godhead as well. Come on now, Joe!
down and get ready in the sled, tank, whatever you call it. Won the men's, then Ryan Kent, and then VJ Jones. So see these little silver like bolts right there? That has to cross the red line on both sides. What do you think's going on there? What do I think's going on? Yeah. Looks like Lauren's kicking ass. Let's go, Lauren. Is she going to beat the men's time? <laughs> All right. Second place. Right there. Not too, not too far back. going for the women uh i don't know i mean it's a good race right now i think lauren how far is lauren ahead she's a good good bit yeah lauren vivian was she was Tara Jackson. i mean you're gonna see a new world record i think for sure. and lauren come on like just had a baby not long ago already back she never surprised me so. all right we got one to go right Go. We're gonna go to the finish. Alright, I gotta get to the finish.
she comes. Second, but by just seconds. Who wants it? Who Literally neck and neck for second place. There's a 15. I mean, Lauren. This is super exciting. There took third over Vivian Devoto, crazy fast. It's amazing how much they, those second, third closed on Lauren even. They were probably only six, seven reps behind. That is Bridget, Tara, and Vivian for that matter. We knew it was gonna be close. That was even a little closer than I thought. And you have Laura in fifth, oh, Shannon, and Shannon Payne in sixth. Wow. That might've been more exciting than the men. Look, let's say, hey, let's go. Show them the deck is on 11. That's what we call the deck of done zone. Carnage. Chip. Jones. Wait, was, so it, 
He still have a couple finishing. face innings record. I believe all four of them were under 34. We've never had a single lady go sub 34 before. We saw a crazy battle there for 34 between Bridget Brown, Vivian Caputo. That's Bridget's first deck of fit victory. Huge congrats to Lauren Weeks. Again, less than eight weeks ago, she had her daughter Lily. Our, her first time in the deck of fit arena, she takes the championship. Definitely punched her ticket to the World Championship November in Atlantic City. We had three or four new, you saw Camilla Massa come in and take fifth or sixth, she probably also punched her ticket. Those ladies that were sixth, seventh, and eighth were some of the fastest times we had ever seen that. Just goes to show you the same thing we saw on the men's side. When you get a lot of competitive athletes in the arena, a lot of records can get broken. So thank you from the lady behind the scenes, Miss Tamara. Thank you so, so much. This is the wonderful lady that keeps VJ inside the guardrails, keeping him rocking and rolling. She tries, is it hard, is it a hard task? Well, thank you, my friend, so much. If you didn't know that Tamara's behind the scenes, she does a lot of great work for us at Spartan, and she was the one that brought you this awesome coverage today. So, much love, my friend. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, I'm gonna end.